Welcome to the Northwest, South Africa. In this video, we'll cover things like the top places to visit, what to see and do, and more. We hope that this video will help you make the most of your stay and enjoy your time in this beautiful city. Located in the heart of South Africa, the Northwest borders Botswana to the north. Northeastern mountains contrast with tree and shrub studded bushveld. Pilanesburg National Park, home to an extinct volcano and over 7,000 animals, including lions and elephants, is conveniently located not far away. Sun City, a high end resort with hotels, a casino, and a water park featuring a gigantic wave pool, is located in this province. This article explores the best ways to spend your time in the mysterious Northwest, including malaria free safaris in Matakwe and exciting outdoor suits in the Magaliesburg region. 18 Must Do's in South Africa's Northwest Province 1. Head to Matakwe Game Reserve for a Luxury Safari. Situated in the far north of the province on the edge of the Kalahari Desert, Matakwe Game Reserve offers one of South Africa's most rewarding private safari experiences. Its diverse habitats are home to all five of the Big Five in addition to 300 different bird species. Above all, Matakwe is famous for close encounters with its thriving population of endangered African wild dogs. 2. Look for the Big Five in Pilanesburg National Park. One of the most easily accessible national parks in South Africa, it is located within an extinct volcanic crater and is only about three hours from Johannesburg. As an added bonus, the park allows visitors to explore on their own time and at their own pace with a rental car, making it a more cost-effective option than Matakwe. African wild dogs, 360 bird species, and rare antelope like the roan and sable all call this ecologically diverse region home. 3. Experience Sun City, Africa's answer to Las Vegas. Imagine the Disney version of Africa, and you'll have a good idea of what to expect from Sun City, the famed mega resort on the border of Pilanesburg National Park. While its glitz and crowds are not to everyone's taste, there's fun to be had here for all ages. Lounge on a palm fringe beach at the water park, soar above the resort in a hot air balloon, try your luck at the casino, or catch world class musicians at the Super Bowl. There are four hotels, ranging from family-friendly cabanas to the five-star cascades. 4. Play around on Sun City's acclaimed golf courses. There are two golf courses at Sun City, both of which were created by Gary Player. The Nedbank Golf Challenge is played every year on the Par 72 Gary Player Country Club Golf Course, which is named after the club's namesake and ranked third in the country by Golf Digest South Africa. There are no less than 300,000 square feet of water features at the desert-themed Lost City Golf Course, including one at the 13th hole that is notorious for its live Nile crocodiles. Is a refresher course in pre-round advice in order. Visit the Gammon Golf Academy for some in-person lessons. 5. Unleash your adventurous side at Hartby Sport Dam. Hartby Sport Dam, near the Goten border, is a popular destination for Johannesburg and Pretoria visitors. It is the region's primary water sports destination, in addition to its beautiful setting in the Magaliesburg mountain range. Mark Gray's Mobile Adventures, a local company, offers river rafting on the Crocodile River, which flows into and out of the dam. Navigate Class II rapids and stop for swimming and rock jumping along the way. Other activities in the area include opsiling, horse riding, and the more sedate Hardy's Aerial Cableway. 6. Savor Gourmet South African Cuisine at Silver Orange Bistro. You've probably worked up quite an appetite after exploring everything the Heartbeat Sport area has to offer. Silver Orange Bistro, named the best bistro in the province by reviewers, will satisfy your hunger and style. Feast on contemporary South African cuisine, prepared with the freshest local and seasonal ingredients in a thatched manor house beneath antique Murano crystal chandeliers. Signature dishes include deconstructed springbok wellington and gorgonzola fillets, and the wine list is award-winning. The bistro is located on the Altid Mui Citrus Estate. 7. Walk with elephants at the Heartbeat Sport Dam Sanctuary. You can interact with resident African elephants three times a day at the Elephant Sanctuary at Heartbeat Sport Dam. During your guided walking tour, you will learn about these amazing animals as well as the conservation issues threatening their survival in the wild. The elephants are free to roam the forest, but they are accustomed to humans and allow close encounters. You can walk alongside them, see where they sleep at night, and assist their keepers in brushing and feeding them. 8. 
Shop for souvenirs at Wellwichia Country Market. After you've finished walking with elephants or tackling death-defying upsiling routes, head to nearby Wellwichia Country Market to pick up a souvenir of your trip to Northwest. This eco-friendly attraction features 40 rustic stalls in an open-air setting shaded by beautiful trees. Before retreating to Upperside Restaurant for lunch and live music in the atmospheric beer garden, browse bohemian clothing, traditional African carvings, and crafts made by local artisans. Every week, from Tuesday to Sunday, the market is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. 9. The Cough Threatened Species at Barbara Spanbird Sanctuary Barbara Spanbird Sanctuary, an important bird area and Ramsar wetland site, is a must-see for birders. The 2,000-hectare reserve, near Della Reville in the province's center, has recorded 365 species, many of which are water birds or rare migrants. Lesser flamingos, black-winged prat and coals, macoa ducks, and chestnut-banded plovers are among the globally threatened species seen at Barbara Span. Water birds congregate in large numbers from April to October, when other water sources in the region are depleted. 10. Cast a line on the Vol River. The majestic Vol River flows for 700 miles through four South African provinces. It forms the border between Northwest and the Free State to the south. Along the water's edge, there are numerous lodges, the majority of which provide excellent angling opportunities. Bobble, carp, mudfish, and, in some areas, large mouth bass can all be caught in the Vol River. The yellowfish, which gives a particularly good fight when caught on fly, is the main prize for most fishermen. The Lion Lodge and Welt of Reed Country Resort are two recommended places to stay. 11. Discover the origins of man on the Town Heritage Route. The Town Heritage Route winds its way through the province's Bofirema district, stopping at a limestone waterfall and natural rock basins known as the Blue Pools. You can also go underground in an abandoned mine tunnel. The main draw is a monument commemorating the discovery of a hominid child's fossilized skull in 1924. 12. Cross the border to the Cradle of Humankind. Although technically in Gauteng, the Cradle of Humankind is just across the provincial border for those interested in the region's anthropological heritage. Begin at the Maraping Visitor Center, where displays of fossils and ancient tools explain how humans evolved from hominid ancestors discovered at nearby Sturkfondi in caves excavation sites. Then, tour the caves to see where the three-million-year-old skeleton known as Littlefoot was discovered. 13. Visit the Paul Kruger Country House Museum. Visit the Paul Kruger Country House Museum in Rustenburg if you are interested in more recent South African history. This historic complex was once home to Paul Kruger, former president of the Zuid Afrikaans Republic and leader of the Boer resistance during the Anglo-Boer War. They are now fully restored and provide an immersive insight into Kruger and his family's lives, with artifacts such as his rifle and Bible still on display. There is also a lodge two restaurants, and a spa on the property. 14. Go on a self-drive safari at Kigiswane Reserve. Kigiswane Nature Reserve, located on the northern slopes of the Magalisberg Mountains, is a picturesque collection of quartzite peaks and valleys, magnificent waterfalls, and tranquil swimming pools. You can explore the reserve at your leisure thanks to a self-drive route that includes picnic areas and viewpoints. It's best known for its breeding herd of sable antelope, but dozens of other antelope species from clip springers to kudu can also be found there. Birders come to see the endangered Cape Vulture breeding colony. The reserve is 15 minutes outside of Rustenburg. 15. Fly through the mountains on a canopy tour. Those who enjoy heights may prefer to take in the breathtaking scenery of the Rustenburg area from above. Magali's Canopeters, located in the Magalisberg Biosphere Reserve offers a 2.5-hour guided zipline tour through mountains estimated to be over 2,500 million years old. The course includes 10 slides and 11 platforms, and some truly breathtaking scenery. Bring your camera and look out for the forest's resident dikers and clip springers. 16. Soar above the Magali's River Valley on a balloon safari. Canopeters are not the only way to fly in the northwest. Bill Harrop's original balloon safaris, located on the border of Gauteng and Northwest Province, is Southern Africa's longest-running balloon airline. The company offers sunrise flights over the Magali's River and surrounding mountains, as well as the UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Cradle of Humankind. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, 
with the world below bathed in golden light and the silence broken only by the blast of the balloon's burners. Every morning, weather permitting, balloons are released. 17. See predators in action at the Anvendic Cheetah Center. The Anvendic Cheetah Center, located 15 minutes from Hartby Sport Town, was founded in 1971 as a breeding program to help replenish the cat's dwindling wild populations. In line with the latest ethical practices, the center no longer offers hands-on experiences. On a guided game drive through their open enclosures, you can see the cheetahs as well as the resident African wild dogs, vultures, and smaller cats. Tours are available daily at 1.30 p.m., with cheetah runs available on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 8 a.m. 18 spend the day on the Faladine hiking trail. The Faladina hiking trail winds its way through the Pelindaba Wilderness area near Hartby Sport Dam for just over four miles. You'll pass through a variety of scenic habitats along the way, from mountain passes with views of the distant Johannesburg skyline to open grassland and cool river and forest. If you keep quiet, you may see wild animals such as impala, diker, kudu, and nyala. Snakes are also commonly seen, so tread carefully.